What would a journey to the black hole look like? I think it would be pretty dark. Well, today, we're gonna find out. Two. So they're starting one, on Earth, and they're gonna travel star. all the way into the black hole, and then we're gonna find out what happens when you actually get wow. inside of a black hole. The Earth is growing smaller This is basically what Elon Musk wants second. to do. Oh, yeah. It seems like no time has passed, but our spacecraft is already 200 miles above the surface of our planet. I can clearly see the Great Wait, Lakes what? I thought the Earth was flat! And oh, boy. Shut up! I just up. spotted something Shut moving up. to the left of my ship. <laughs> so Could it be? <laughs> yeah. I like your forehead it's, it's actually very big international space station did you know that okay. the station is the most expensive oh, single thanks. object in the world you, huh no wonder 100 with trillion how, how big no what is that number 100 billion dollars it took to make that thing what does it even do that's all of our tax money going to what to nothing uh, Who no cares? That, that that controls all the satellite and the internet yeah, yeah. i mean the international space the station is pretty important for like yeah. you know scientific research and how oh, things i don't know we need satellites for the internet you do oh. 47s or two louves with all the paintings and artwork inside. Two louves. For my spacecraft, the ISS looks pretty big, but I shouldn't be surprised since the length of the station is over 350 feet, Whoa. which is more than the I length of a football field. I honestly thought it would be bigger. Yeah, but I don't yeah have for 100 a bill. That's not that big. Hole I thought it would be like the Death Star. Now I'm about 1,300 miles over the surface of the planet, and I start to spot satellites here and there. I've read that. So the entire circumference, the 8,000 miles. Did you guys know that? So we're that almost the entire cool. distance of the earth yeah one trip around the earth is how far we're going up right now circumference so in like two seconds he's already traveled from florida all the way to pa at a wow. satellites, there are low and high flyers and Nothing while the lowest flying like ones move approximately 1250 <laughs> miles away from earth which is the length of four and a half grand canyons the <laughs> highest or four and a half grand canyons out of sorry i don't want to like space. that which almost equals the Earth's circumference, oh. measuring about 20 <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what are you talking about? I didn't think I'd get fact-checked here, man. I will never believe another thing this guy ever says. I he don't even think 8, that we should have. Yeah, that's oh not even anywhere God. close to 25,000. Did wow. he leave? It? Okay. He oh, leave. Just, I said 8,000 for a third, guys. Don't be dumb. Adam, go read a book. Wait, the Earth's not flat? 5,000 miles. By the way, Stop. few people know that satellites travel at a blinding speed. <laughs> I swear I listened to something Neil deGrasse Tyson said. 18,000 miles per hour. Also, I did not know the that higher satellite a satellite that is, the slower it moves, relatively speaking. That makes sense. For example, the weather tracking Go system of satellites orbits the Earth once a day at a distance of 22,000 miles above your head and oh. reaches a maximum speed of 7,000 miles per hour. It's kind of scary though, because like satellites, just like everything in space, they're like getting a little bit closer every time they go around. So eventually they're going to spiral into planet Earth. Is that not how it works? I no, don't think no, that's no, how it works. no. Do they have like thrusters that yeah, adjust them? Yeah. They have thrusters on them? Don't believe what I say. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. But the orbit thing, why don't they just stay there forever? Like the moon. Like the moon's never going to hit the planet. Just like we're slowly getting pulled to the center of the sun. Everything's slowly getting pulled to the grab to the bigger gravitational pull. The moon is going to hit the Earth. Someday, are you kidding me? You know, well, the satellites are being left behind. The circumference of Earth being 8,000 already taken Liam and me toward the moon, about 240,000 miles away from Earth. We're at the moon! It's the same distance you would go if you went around our planet 10 times in a row. See? From here, you got Earth that, Adam? looks like a small, bright blue <laughs> ball hanging in the middle of nowhere. And you know what wow. else? From my spacecraft, I can clearly see that the moon isn't a perfect sphere. It's shaped more like, uh, yeah, it. like an egg. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're headed somewhere even Whoa, further. he's jumping up a lot here. Mm, I see Mars, Yo! Jupiter, whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn wow. Uranus. What about Pluto? Oh, look, there's Pluto. Ah! There's Pluto right there. But was I didn't know it was that far. From here, Earth looks like a small star that's getting fainter and fainter as I'm moving further. That is really far, and we're not even out of our solar system. That is 3 billion 500 million miles away. I don't wow. trust anything you say. I'm going to do the math It is myself. 3 billion. It is 3.5 billion miles away. I'm back. Wow. I'm back, baby. <laughs> and Adam could barely even go one mile, let alone 3.5 billion. Yeah. 3.5 billion. I start sweating when I run half a mile. But wait, what's that? Some object is approaching me at a high speed. Could it be Elon Musk. Tesla? Woo! Told you. That was close. The thing just avoided close. a collision at the last moment, and everything happened too fast to see it clearly. But I'm pretty sure what I just saw was a Tesla. Right now, huh? I'm already a really, Tesla? really far from joke, Earth, I think. like 100 astronomical units away. The thing is that space distances what is, what is are that? so vast, you can't even calculate them in miles. Unit. That's why scientists oh. use the term astronomic unit, which equals 93 million I use that miles, for my poops. the distance from the Sun to Earth. 
That means oh, okay. right now that makes sense. I'm 9.3 billion miles away from our planet. But That's not that far. What's happening? Why is my spaceship You're talking shaking? About? We're out of the so solar much. system now. I see. We're entering the termination shock. The place where huh? solar winds coming from the sun travel at a speed of 250 miles per second and oh collide with the material that makes up the galaxy's background. How is there wind in outer space? It's not actual wind, Alec. There's no air. It's like the, the sun just like spewing out solar flares. The sun is like a giant ball of gas. Just imagine the sun farting. Nine billion years of miles outside of the sun? It's farting? Yes, it's farting and what? it goes really far. It's like you said, Alec, once it spits it out, there's no friction. So it just travels forever until it hits something. It travels forever. Wow, that's genius. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's eventually it'll dissipate, but like seriously, that is the most insane nuclear fart ever. Okay, then if the sun is farting and destroying nine billion miles away, how is it not destroying the Earth? Because we have an we, atmosphere. We have an atmosphere that protects us. But what about planets without atmospheres? Like, Look like at the Venus. moon. Look at yeah. Mars. Yeah. They, yeah, they get burned alive. Get have hit. you seen Venus? The sun can't ah, burn us. There. We made it through unscathed. But there's another trial ahead, the Oort Cloud. What is that? That means two things. Oh, what is that? First, we're on I'll the take this battle of the solar boys. system. And Good second, luck, Adam. we'll have to get through a cloud of icy objects orbiting the sun at a distance of 100,000 astronomic units. In other words, okay, the fact that the sun has a gravitational pull that far away is is crazy. When does the sun stop pulling things in? It's like Alex's okay? ex-girl. He's like, every time he tries to go away, she keeps reeling him back in. Doesn't he can go how all far the way he gets. to Africa. He's always he's a, he's back. could be on he's a different planet. Back. He looks on Instagram. New post. Uh. It's 1.87 <laughs> light years away from our star. Oh, hey, hey, hey oh, hey. Is this kid? sound scary? Is it okay if I'm scared right now? Like, is it, is that okay for me to be scared? Uh, yeah. I'm scared of like the infinite abyss and the void of the universe and how and it just goes And we're not on even forever. at the end. We're not even close to the end of the universe. We haven't even hit a black hole yet. We're not even close to the end of our own galaxy in this video. Not even nope. close. We haven't even touched nope. it. And there's millions and trillions and billions and gazillions of other galaxies out there. And the Milky Way it galaxy is a tiny galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy is like three times the size of our galaxy. It's astronomical. <laughs> Whew, it must be my lucky day, since we got through the Oort cloud with just a couple of scratches on the spacecraft's skin. And voila! We're heading out of the solar system just one-tenth of a light year later. By the way, if you were trying to reach this point by car, the trip would mm -hmm. take you more than 19 million years. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> and even if you yeah. piloted one of the fastest spacecraft that exists nowadays, NASA's New Horizons, you would still need 37,000 yeah. years to Nothing. complete the journey. That so is bring a, a big lot. Lunch. Humans have only All been right. around for like, We've what? We've left the borders 20, of the solar system. Thousand? And now, I'm sitting no, in my spaceship 3, cabin, watching comets and asteroids pass by. Time to think about my destination. In the center of pretty much every galaxy, there's a supermassive black hole. I for said example, that! For example, one is sitting right at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy about 27,000 light years wow. away from and Earth. And it's sucking everything in. my it's ship the wouldn't be able to get that far universe. before my 100th wow. birthday. Or at least our galaxy. Why my destination is the stellar I thought Alec hole was the biggest sucker Earth, in this one. And much I guess smaller not. in size, Only but in your no house. less mysterious. It's in this V616 galaxy. Mono Serratus, also known as V616 Mon. Wow. Located 3,000 light, light years time. away. Kind of and like weighing the same as about 9 Whoa. to 13 oh, of those our sun. Balls? What? A black hole is an eerie place where those laws of physics we studied at school stop working. If a massive star runs out of its star fuel, oh, it becomes scary. super dense and buckles under its own weight, that's scary. collapsing inward wow. and bringing space time mm -hmm. along. That As a result, the gravitational so field of this new thing gets so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light. Right now, we're Light approaching the black hole, it. and very soon, I'll send Liam to explore it from the inside. Thank you for I your sacrifice, Liam. Horizon, Get in there, Liam. The point of no return. We'll write stories and about you. Can you can probably guess why, right? I don't know if I can watch. Once an object crosses this, this is what I imagine line, happens after I flush it through. back, even if it changed its mind. It goes down anyway, into nothing. Liam says he's ready to start his journey. Liam, no! Goes, Liam. Bravely plunging toward the black Liam. hole while I'm recording love you, everything Liam. that's happening to him. He's we'll see you on the other side. It looks like he's contorting he's gonna and turn stretching, black. as if I'm looking through a huge magnifying glass. Interestingly, Whoa. the closer to the horizon he is, the more slowly he seems to move. 
He's, he's, he's getting trying turned to send into me spaghetti. encoded light messages like we agreed to in advance. But the light waves stretch to redder and lower frequencies. I'm oh. okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I don't think he's, he's okay. okay. What's happening? Liam just froze as if a gigantic finger has he's pressed time a pause travel? button. And now, I think he's some good. force is stretching him thinner and thinner. Ah, I've read about this phenomenon. It's the infamous spaghettification, what? which happens in a super hey, strong, non-homogeneous like gravitational field. The black hole's gravity hey, force is stronger at his feet than at his head. That's why he's getting stretched out like a piece of spaghetti. Also, the sensors inform me that Liam so is getting dead, hotter right? and hotter. Yeah, and then he might be in a different universe. He just disappeared. Yeah, Jack, and we I have can't no idea what happens when he's going the black hole. But since I did my research before the trip, I know that Liam is in the state of free fall now and feels oh. no more stretching, scalding radiation, or gravity. I think because he's dead. Unfortunately, <laughs> the connection is lost. He feels nothing. And he can't anymore. tell me anything about the inside of the black hole. Hmm. This is a moment I didn't think through well enough. <laughs> this anyway, I hope <laughs> you're so okay. Traveled the entire way, and, and think I think through. I'll head home. We love to you, get Liam. Ready for my next space trip. <laughs> he just ditched Liam in there. That was what wow, about you? Cool. Do you and think I should? Liam is gone. Liam is dead, and Liam is through the black hole to the other side. So I guess that's what the journey looks like to the center of Earth. That's scary. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. I, yeah, that sounds kind of scary. But one day, people are gonna have to do that. People are gonna have to go through the black hole and see what it is on the other side. I volunteer as tribute, guys. If you enjoyed that video and want to see more, click this video right here.